rosé wines. A lot of people think neither white nor red. Well, think again. Try this Cerasuolo and then let's talk about rosé. <laughs> It's 1981, you have to imagine Italy, Abruzzo, 1981. When Gianni Masciarelli is about to produce a revolution in the Montepulciano world. But he was also about to change the rules of rosé because in the 80s, everyone in the world was making cheap and nasty rosé, let's be honest. Cerasuolo, Look at this color, I love it. Cerasuolo is a rosé with a darker character than your average rosé. It's like this because of the grape variety and the style of winemaking. This is basically a red wine vinified in white. So very short contact with the skins, you know, that the skin of the grape is handing over the color. So instead of spending two weeks, you just give them a day and a half and that's what you're uh, gonna end up with. Now, pomegranate, mountain strawberries, uh, tangerine, uh, mountain uh, flowers as well, like white flowers. We are on the mountains actually, we are in the Mayella, so like uh, the Gran Sasso, like a massive mountain, but also the wine is getting some sea breeze that makes the winters less aggressive than they should. Mm. On the palate, the wine is refreshing, very crunchy. There's some uh, sapidity out there, almost saltiness. This wine is awesome to drink it by itself. It's a great food companion, either with food or meat. We have to give high quality rosé the place they deserve. And this Cerasuolo da Bruzza Superiore belongs to that beautiful category of fine wine. And for more tips, tricks and love, follow our social media, subscribe our channel, and drink some nice vino. Also rosé, guys. Have some rosé. <laughs>